Hello guys, um, today I'm going to be talking about a very serious topic, and that's Mark the Beast. It's coming, it's, it's not coming, it's here, it's already here. I just watched about 50 videos on YouTube of people getting microchipped, and then I watched Bill Gates talk about depopulation. And him getting his vaccines. But there are a lot of things that the Mark of the Beast could be. Ooh, that actually might be not dark enough for you to see. That's what you pick. Mark of the Beast. The Mark. Is the microchip. That's the mark of the beast. It's plain and simple. Whatever you do with your life, do not take the microchip or the coronavirus vaccine. These are the mark of the beast, my friends. If you take the microchip, it's over. You've taken Satan into you instead of Jesus. We must neglect the microchip. We must neglect Bill Gates because this is more than life or death. This is eternity. This is forever. There is no end. Now John talks about how he sees people getting chipped in their right hands and foreheads. I've seen videos of people in Sweden and Europe and even here in America. They are getting these chips put in their brains. Chips put in their right Thumbs. This is the end. It's at our doorsteps. This is a coronavirus. This is the microchip. This is the vaccine. This is the mask. Social distancing. This is the end. We don't have much longer. I'm scared to death. I mean, we can get through this, but it's going... Not only that, but this is going to take out so many people, not by dying, but by taking the chip. Once you take that chip or the vaccine, you've already surrendered to God. But you can't because there is hope. You don't say that you can't go out here and do this. They'll say you can't go grocery stop shopping. They'll say you can't go to school. They'll say that you can't go out to the park. They'll say that you can't play football, basketball. They'll say you can't do this and that. But you must neglect it. Say no. Just say no. Just say no. Because it is here at our doorsteps. The anti gun law agenda, the LGBTQ. I e I don't even know the 75 genders agenda. The Democrats. It's just CNN. Not only that, that Brooke Shields said she's gonna microchip herself and her kids. We cannot let this happen. America, wake up. This is the end. This is the end. Not only of the world, but 
of everything we know. Our only hope is to just stay strong in faith, read our Bibles, stay educated, and don't take the mark. And if you're being forced, then you can just... <sighs> Actually, I don't know what to do if you're forced. I mean, I might be forced to take the vaccine. I mean, if you're under 18, then in America, you don't really have a choice. But I don't care what I have to do. I will not take it. And you should not take it if you want to be loyal to God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Don't. Please, I'm begging you. I mean, there are so many other things you can do in life. I mean, you could be a pastor. You could be a newscaster. I don't know. But once you take that microchip, I tell you it's over. Here on Earth, it might be fine. But once it comes to Judgment Day, you'll be cast into the lake of fire. And I'm not doing this to be rude, but this is the hard truth. You have this one chance. You have no other chance. This is our one chance. I tell you, I don't think we'll make it. 2030, I feel like, is our limit. I, I think about 2027, 2028, I feel like will be our final years. Then a rapture. Stay strong in the faith. Do you know what you say to Bill Gates? This is what you say to him. You say no. You say no. Do you know what you say to Satan? You say no. You cross them out. Do you know what to say to Jesus? You say yes to him. You do what Jesus wants. He don't do what this world wants. He do what he wants. Because he is the final ruler. If the Bible says it, you have no opinion. If God says it, you have no opinion. If Jesus says it, you have no opinion. It's the fact. <sighs> I'm getting fired up here. Just the end. is It's not coming. It's here. We're at the beginning of the end, my friends. The Antichrist is already here. 2020 is the worst year yet in history. Well, we're going to see when we go a few years down the line, we see 2022, 2025, years like those. Those are going to be the years filled with Antichrist. The kingdom of God. Stay strong. Do not take the mark or the microchip or the corona vaccine from Bill and Melinda Gates. Everything we know it will come to an end. But the only things that will be everlasting is hell and heaven and the things that are in them. Do you know what's in heaven? The kingdom of God and as followers of him we want to go there and he said he'll make a new heavens and a new earth it's gonna be wonderful I mean this life here I mean you can take anything you want from this life and it won't even be half comparable to what will be in heaven all we gotta do is wait. Now, if you're stuck in sin, addiction, anything, God is there. He can help you. Oh, yes, He can. He's a faithful God. 
He's a faithful God indeed. Thank you for watching. And just don't take the chip, please. He's, I'm begging you, don't take it. Stay strong. Bye.